Hey guys, I'm Tim. Welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Make sure you like, subscribe, smash that like button, and as always, make sure you're subscribed to our weekly emails on MrMaple.com. Today, I'm standing here with a good customer, Doug McDougal, and we're going to do Doug's top five Japanese maples. Crazy, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my opinion, Japanese maples are, you know, like, it's hard to choose. I mean, they're like women. They're all beautiful. And, <laughs> but... I thought about this because y'all asked me last week to do it. Um, I was just going to pick the ones that I have in my garden now yeah. and pick the top from. And then I thought, well, wait a minute. There's some that I'm just crazy about. And uh, I have the same problem that you have, and that is yellow in the garden. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, I guess number one, I would pick uh, Ace of Sure Asylum, uh, Jordan. Jordan. That, that's a great classic one. And uh, well, What do you like about Jordan? Well, for one, it took the 100 mile an hour winds coming off the off Lake Tawakini and just, I was worried about it, worried about it. And it just took a fresh, new, full leaf. And it, it took the beating and stood right back up. The color is just vibrant. It's like a light is plugged into the tree. Yeah, I mean, I know Matt's wife, this is one of her favorite plants as well. Amy, she's down at checkout. We're here at the Mr. Maple open house here in March. And how far did you drive away from today? Oh, it was 935 miles. 935 miles. And what's your city? 14 hours. What's your city? I guess you would call it, I live in the country, but I guess you would call it Wills Point. Wills Point, and it's Wills Point, Texas? Texas, yeah. Lake Tawakini. And so you're saying that Jordan is just rocking it out down oh, there? Oh, yeah, in full sun. I, wow. I, I chose full sun. Well, it doesn't get 4 and 5 o'clock afternoon sun, but but there's a few sunny spots in my yard. I'm planning on putting number 2 there, which would be... Uh, a hot blonde hot blonde and that that's one of my favorites because to me that is the one that is just rock solid once it gets established i mean that's going to be one that for you should do really well down there in texas being part of the heat seekers the next two on my list are the first japanese maple i ever bought and that was a waterfall waterfall and i bought it from a very expensive nursery there in texas and it was probably two foot tall and i think i paid two hundred dollars for it and it, but it had three nice branches coming off of it today that thing is four and a half five feet tall and eight feet wide and just the most beautiful aproned uh, dissected dissectum you, you it's it's beautiful yeah waterfall i mean that's just a classic and then that's one of those plants it was actually found at a waterfall in New Jersey. And it was a, a Veritas group green lace leaf that was at this uh, estate, state park in New Jersey. And it just got the name waterfall because it's sitting at a waterfall and it had that nice weeping habit. And it's, it's been such a staple in the nursery trade. I mean, it's such a good Japanese maple. It's a lot of people, it's a lot of people's second or third Japanese maple, but I mean, it is such a beautiful tree out in the landscape. I mean, right. it can give you some nice yellows and oranges in the fall. It's got but, great spring color. When that when the leaf is coming out, it's it's just so red and green and it's like a white over, you know, over the top of it, the little fuzz on on the blooms. And it, it's a great spring color. Yeah, the, with those little red petioles and green mm -hmm. leaves and yeah. I mean, that that's just a rock star for sure. Then I got two 10 gallons today and and one of those is on my top five, and that would be Yamakaji. Oh, man. I you're, know. You're getting to the Japonicums, the big leaf yeah, Acer big. Japonicums. And, and those, are, those, those get my heart beating, too. Yes. What, what, what do you like about Yamakaji? Just the color changes in the thing. I've got the tips of it when it came out this spring. It, had, oh, it, was, it did not look real. The, the leaves looked like they were fake. I, I love that. And then the fall color. I mean, so years ago, Matt and I went and visited uh, Jim Schmidt of Don Schmidt Nursery. And they're the people that, that named it and introduced it into the nursery trade. And as we're pulling in, going to Jim Schmidt's house, he's passed away now, but as we're pulling into his subdivision, it's called Mountain Shadows Subdivision. Mm -hmm. And I'm no expert in Japanese, but this was, you know, 10 years ago. This was 12 years, 15 years ago almost now. We're pulling in and I see Mountain Shadows and I'd read enough Veritree's book to know that meant Yamakagi. Oh my God. And, I, I, and I asked him specifically, I said, you know, this coincidence. is this a coincidence or did you name it for that? And it was a chance seedling in his neighbor's yard. This neighbor had had and they introduced into the nursery trade. 
Yeah, and so it, it, and it's actually fast growing. I've, yeah. uh, I've got the one I've got now. It's right beside my greenhouse, and it is the new growth is, I bet four inches already yeah. this year. So, um, I guess the the last one would be uh, another full leaf um, would would be Indian Summer. Oh, Indian Summer, and that that's an awesome one too. Yeah. What do you like about Indian Summer? Again, the the full leaf, the way it just hangs out, and then as the day progresses, it just comes up like it's dancing. And then it goes back down, and the colors that are already in it, I can't wait till fall and see what happens. We had a set of probably 250 here at the nursery. I'd say probably 10 left with employees. Mm -hmm. And we only have 30 employees, so you're saying that a third of them, a third of them took home a, an Indian summer is pretty spectacular. But when we listed those things, they just sold out. And the fall color on them were just so electric because the, on the same plant, you get the yellows, you get the oranges, you get the reds. I mean, it's just one of those plants that just captivates you and you're just like, man, because you, it's hard to believe that you can get so many colors of fall color on one plant. Well, the one y'all sent me was four and a half feet tall. It was, <laughs> it's here now. It's yeah. just a giant one gallon tree. It's, I've been really impressed with y'all uh, you know, your whole staff, your company, your your location out here, it's just supreme top shelf. Well, we appreciate you coming and making the long trip out here. Uh, I appreciate the, the comic books, the Green Lantern number oh, one. Yeah. I, that, that, I saw that and my, my wife was like, let me put it in my pocketbook. I was like, no, <laughs> it goes in something flat. And then with the in there. Well, I got that probably 30 years ago and it's been in a briefcase along with baseball cards and yeah. all this, I, I collect everything. And uh, for my son, but you know, my son just isn't into it. So, uh, well, Matt and I really appreciate it. Well, good. And I told Matt and his, he was like, what? Because <laughs> you know, we're such super uh, hero yeah. uh, fans as well. I got Matt the Superman Dies comic book, so. I, but we really appreciate you coming out here today. Give us your top five. We appreciate you coming today and shopping our open house. I mean, you made a long trek out here. It was great. It was worth but, it too. And, uh, and you're sticking around for tomorrow too. Yeah, I'm gonna load tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's loading day. Uh, I, th I think the more we put our head, every time I walk through these greenhouses, I keep seeing things I, I didn't know was in here. Right. And people keep pulling out to me and they're like, hey, I found this, can I have this? And I'm like, that was in there? Okay. I talked to Michael, he found, <laughs> he found a magic moon today. Oh man, that, that's, that, that, that's pretty special. <laughs> yeah. So, but, I really appreciate you coming out today. Again, everybody like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Uh, share this video with your gardening friends. And if you're coming out to an open house, maybe we'll grab you next time for a, a top five as well. Thanks so much, Doug. Take care. God bless. And have an awesome day.